how are you? Welcome to my channel, The Baking Diva. And for those of you in the beauty community, you'll recognize my very poor imitation of Jeffree Star. I've had this mirror for a while and I've been dying to do that. Just haven't had the chance. But anyway, um, today I thought I'd come to you and I'm going to have a cup of coffee with you and I'm going to spill some tea. Mm -hmm. The diva's got some tea to spill. But before I do that, I wanted to bring your attention to this cool necklace I'm wearing. It's a sexy black chain. It has crystals on it. And it has a little Chanel handbag hanging from it. And my friend Carol, whose channel is the O Carol Show, um, made this for me. I purchased it from her. And I just love it. Um, she also made me this. I'm not going to put the two of them on, but I'm going to hold it up. This is adorable. This is pearls and it has on it, I don't know if you can see it, a comb, a little lipstick, a bottle of Chanel perfume, a mirror. Oh, look how cute. A little bottle of nail polish, which I need to do my nails. Um, a little Chanel sign. It's just adorable and it looks so pretty on. And I, she made that for me also. I purchased these from her. She is a master of many things. Um, she makes jewelry. Um, she's part of the mature beauty community. She's a singer. She's definitely a fashionista. Oh yes, and she is the queen of cool. She finds the coolest gadgets I've ever seen. I don't know where she finds them from, but she does find them. And I love her channel. I think you will too. So I'm going to put the link to her channel down below in the description box. Um, I know she has some other pieces that she makes and sells. Um, I just thought these were adorable. So uh, go on over and visit Carol from the old Carol show. I'm sure you'll get a kick out of her and you'll enjoy her. So getting back to the tea. Um, I thought today I'd make a cup of coffee and spill the tea with you. Now, there's a new coffee that once again is taking the internet by storm. It's gone viral. It's from Korea. Um, it's been all over TikTok. I'm not too familiar with TikTok at all, but that's what they tell me. And it's supposed to be delicious. So let me show you how I'm going to make this Dalgonia coffee. That's what it's called, Dalgonia coffee. And then I'll spill a little tea, because there's been a lot going on at the Diva's house lately. That's for sure. So what are you going to need to make Dalgonia coffee? It's so simple. Um, you need a coffee mug or a coffee cup or a tall glass. I didn't have anything clear and I wanted to show you what it looks like in something clear. So I'm using a wine glass. But um, anyway, you can use any type of a tall glass or a clear coffee mug that you like. So I'm just gonna put that over here. You're gonna just need a small bowl, something small for mixing. Now with Dalgonia coffee, you must use instant coffee or it will not work. Now you can use regular, or you can use decaf, but it has to be instant coffee. You're just gonna need a little bit of sugar and you're gonna need some hot water. So that's what we're gonna to use to start. So I am going to put into my bowl two tablespoons of instant coffee. So there's one and there's two. Okay, you can use any brand you like, use your favorite. Now I'm going to put in there two tablespoons of white granulated sugar. So, so far that's two and two. And last, I'm going to get my hot water and I'm going to put two tablespoons of hot water in here. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to put two tablespoons of 
hot or very warm water in here. Just put another drop in there. I didn't fill it up. Okay. Now you're going to need an electric hand mixer. I got my pink one here. Now some people don't use a mixer. They use a whisk. Just takes a lot longer with the whisk. So my suggestion is going to be use your mixer. I hope this doesn't splatter all over me. I didn't want to put my apron on because I wanted to show you this cute little necklace that Carol made me. I happen to be wearing blue today, but I thought it would look really pretty on a white top too. So here we go. We're going to mix this for a few minutes until it thickens and it gets some peaks. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Start off slow so you don't have splashes all over. So this is all I'm going to do. I'm working solo today, no cameraman, so I'll hold this up. Once I get it mixed, I'm going to put it on high. Okay, and as soon as I get this to the consistency that I want it, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what it should look like. So don't go away. I'm whipping it up now, starting to thicken. Got a little ways to go. there. You want to get some nice peaks in there. Starting to thick in. Almost there. Okay, it looks done to me. Now I'm going to take my glass or your coffee cup, whichever you prefer, and um, I'm going to put some ice in it. So I'm going to put a little ice in there. This is not hot coffee. And now I'm going to fill this maybe half or three quarters of the way with milk. You can use any kind of milk you want. You can put half milk and half, half and half in here. You can put whole milk in here. I'm just using what I have right now. So I'm putting milk in there. Oh, probably about that much for now. Now, what turns this into Dalgonia coffee? I'm going to take my spoon. This is nice and mousse-like, and I'm going to gently put it right on top of the milk. Get that. Mmm, mmm. Oh, this is so delicious. Some people have said that this tastes a little bit like coffee ice cream. I don't know. Let's try it. Get it in there. Oh, yeah. I'm not bothering using a little um, pastry bag to put this in there. You don't need to do that. Look at that. Mmm, mmm. Ooh. Get it all in there. Looks so delicious. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get a lot in there. Mm-hmm. Look at that. This is how you make Dalgonia coffee. Now, if you want, you can sprinkle a little cocoa on the top if you want, but you don't have to look at that. I'm going to take a little picture of it, and then I'm going to do a taste testing. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what you can do is I'm going to take a straw and I'm going to put a straw in here. And, oh, it's so nice and thick on the top. Look at that. I'm going to just mix it a little bit in there. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Something tells me this is going to be yummy in the tummy. Getting ready to taste it. And then we'll do a little tea around a little bit. Mm. And now I'm going to taste this baby. Mmm. Very good. There's also a way to make a, a keto version of this coffee. And there's um, a way to make a mocha version of this coffee. So maybe next time I'll give that a try. So stirring it all around. Let me taste this. Mmm. Oh, it's really good. 
stir it around. Get it all combined. Have your ice in there and your cold milk. It's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I love it. If I have the time, I would make that every morning. I prefer iced coffee. I like iced tea and iced coffee. So anyway, um, what tea does the D or the diva have to spill? Well, I will tell you there's been an awfully lot going on lately at my house. Most of you know my little grandson Lucas, right? He's been on a lot of my videos and he's over at my house all the time. It's like a second home to him. He loves it here. Well, we were debating, the cameraman and I, whether we wanted to sell our house and downsize. And we've been tossing this back and forth now for a couple of years. My son lives in the next town over and uh, he went through a divorce a few years back, which I won't get into. That's not my story to tell. And he has joint custody of his two children. So I'm sure you figured out by now that's why you never see Lucas's mother or any pictures. So anyway, um, we talked about it and we thought, should we sell the house and downsize? Um, what should we do? And we really love our home. Take a little sip of this. Mm. So a few years ago, my son was diagnosed with um, early stage Parkinson's disease, which was a shock to everyone. And um, when he went through his divorce, um, he kept the house. And he's had the house now for a few years. He still works full time, he has his home, um, he has the children, he has joint custody of the children. Um, but it gets hard to do all that by yourself. So we talked about it and we decided that he would sell his house, which he thought it was a good idea. He would sell his house and both my son and the two boys would move in here. I have a big house. There would be a separate bedroom for each of the boys and a separate bedroom for my son. Um, we have plenty of room here. But of course, what comes with that package? And I think some of you heard it in one of my other videos. Brownie! Brownie's my grand dog daughter. <laughs> yes, and um, so the dog came with the package too. So the cameraman and I went from two people to now having five people and a dog in the house and two birds. So we have been super, super busy with the moving. Um, you know, when my kids got married, you know how it is. I don't know if any of you've been through it, but I took over their bedrooms. Of course I did, I'm the diva. So I moved clothes into their closets and all of that fun stuff. Well, now it was time. I had to move everything back out of the extra bedroom. So that was a chore in itself. Mmm, this is so good. I want to drink it while it's cool. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. And um, that took a while. And then we thought, well, it would be a good idea. My son wanted to move in here uh, before he put his house up for sale. So we were trying to get the bedrooms ready for everybody. And that meant, you know, cleaning out the kids' bedrooms at the other house getting them ready here. Um, oh, there you go. I told you. There's a dog that's here, Brownie. There's probably an ant. <laughs> Brownie. There's probably an ant walking by the house. Oh my God. And she's taken such a liking to me. She, I think my, ham, my husband, the cameraman just came in. The dog has taken such a liking to me. She follows me everywhere I go. He just waved. She follows me everywhere I go. Uh, she sleeps on my side of the bed on the floor. Um, she wants me to take her out. She wants me to play with her. It's very flattering, but it's like having another baby. <laughs> so anyway, we've been busy, busy, busy taking things back and forth, back and forth from my son's house to this house. We finally got the three bedrooms done. 
Lucas loves, loves, loves his bedroom. Um, it really looks adorable. His older brother is going to be 16 in the end of July, so I let him really have a say in the colors he wanted to paint his bedroom and wall, and it really came out good. He's got a big TV, flat screen TV on the wall. And um, so we did the three bedrooms. We're almost done with that. But then, you know, my son has so much to clean out at his house before he puts it on the market. So there was uh, cleaning the attic out oh, and the basement and just a lot. I won't even go into it all, but anybody that has moved knows what I'm talking about. It's very, very stressful. We've been making visits and my son-in-law and my other grandsons have been helping, my daughter. And all we've been doing is back and forth, back and forth, bringing things from there to here. And of course now, with this virus and uh, everybody on lockdown and stores closed, he has a lot of things to get rid of and we can't even have a garage sale. So all of his stuff is coming into my garage for now. So the cameraman and I will not <laughs> be parking in our garage for a while. Be parking in the driveway, which is okay. I'm just hoping this all ends soon. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know what was going on. I've been super, super busy. For a while there, I was trying to do two videos a week, but it's just not happening because the kids are here every other weekend. They're overnight on Thursday nights and they're here for dinner on Monday. So um, it's obviously extra work. Um, but I'll tell you the truth, I don't mind it at all. They say kids keep you young, and they do. Kids keep you young. I mean, they now have brought their soccer net into our yard, and um, we had the fencing company come in, and they built a little fenced-in playground for Brownie. <laughs> so we don't have to take her in and out on the leash constantly. I think she's maybe nine. She likes to go out a lot. So this is working out just fine. Um, so it's merging two families. We're not the Brady Bunch, but we're doing the best we can. And I think the kids are very happy. They seem very happy here and very excited. Um, Kyle wants me to teach him how to film the videos. Lucas, of course, still wants to be in them. They love their new rooms, and uh, hmm, they love grandma's baking and cooking. So what's to complain about, right? But anyway, getting back to my son, um, I have to say he still works full time. Uh, I have to really give a shout out to Michael J. Fox and the Michael J. Fox Foundation. Michael J. Fox has had Parkinson's disease for many, many years, and um, he finally, a short while after he first got it, came out, went public about it. He started the Michael J. Fox Foundation. He spotlighted the disease. And anybody that has Parkinson's disease or knows someone that has it, it's not a fun thing to have. And there is no cure for it. So they've been working feverishly to get new medications and... Uh, find a cure for it, and they've been doing a great job. So I always tell my son, never give up hope, never. There's always hope. So I think by him and the kids being here, takes a little stress off him. The cameraman has his issues, his health issues. So we're a family, and isn't that what families do? Families help one another, right? Mmm, make this Delgana coffee, <laughs> it's so good. So anyway, I'm a little exhausted. I have concealer <laughs> under my eyes. Uh, I'm tired, I haven't been sleeping that well. My mind tells me I'm 30. My body says, honey, no you're not. <laughs> so when I go over there and I'm packing things and I'm cleaning out closets and I'm doing laundry just to get everybody over here, usually by the next day my body says to me, Honey, take a rest. <laughs> You're not 30. But anyway, 
that's what the diva's been up to. I thought I'd take this opportunity while I'm here and it's nice and quiet, except for the clock, to spill a little tea while I was making my coffee. Mm. So I hope you're all doing well. You know I'm in New Jersey and New Jersey has, and New York have been two of the worst hit states in the nation, Chris, and so many people are still in lockdown here. I call it lockdown, call it whatever you want. Um, stores are still closed. It's ridiculous. Um, I decided to put my mask and my gloves on, take my hand sanitizers on Saturday and take a ride for the first time in months up to Walmart. I drove in with my car and said, mm -mm -mm, not today. The line was all the way around the store, all the way up the hill. I couldn't believe it. I said, no. So I headed up the highway to Target. They had a line out front, but it wasn't as bad as Walmart was. And it was very, excuse me, well organized. And I did go in there, got a few things that I needed and left and had no problem at all. So um, other than the food store, that's about it. Pharmacy, food store, gas station, that's about it. Um, the governor of New Jersey said he's opening up the beaches now. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I just wish everybody would do what they're supposed to do. Um, I understand that some people say, well, I, I don't care. If I get the virus, I get it. Well, that's fine. If you want to get the virus, get it. But unfortunately, with having that attitude, you're around other people. You could be around your parents or your grandparents, and then what? You spread it to them, and they're not as young as you, and they're not as fortunate, and many of them pass on from it. So is that what you want? So I'm hoping if everybody obeys the rules and does what they're supposed to do, we can get out of this lockdown or we can get out of this lockdown and start enjoying life a little bit more. So for now, I hope you're all doing well. Um, thank you so much for those that have subscribed to my channel. It is a baking channel, but I just wanted to spill some tea today while I made the coffee. And uh, I'll be back to my baking very soon. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, feel free to go down below and hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it. If you press it, I think twice, it'll say all, it's free. And every time I put up a new video, you'll get a notification and you won't miss anything. So for now, I wanna just tell you all, I appreciate your support, love you all. Think of me <laughs> until we get done with this move because I wouldn't wish moving on anyone. And anyway, um, be well, love you all, and I'll see you very soon. Toodles! Two thumbs up on this one.